Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Geek. Today we have with us the newly launched budget smartwatch from Noise, and it's the Noise Color Fit Cube. And in this video, we will do the unboxing and show you its features. So in the front of the box, we have the Noise branding along with the picture of the smartwatch. Here at this side, we can see it's designed in India. At the back, we can see some key features. And this smartwatch is available in two colors, black and gold. And the one we have here is the black variant. And about the features, you get the 1.4 inch touchscreen, smart notifications, multi sport modes, 24 hours heart rate monitoring, 7 days battery backup, and it's IP68 waterproof. And here we can see the companion app Noise Track is available on both Android and iOS platforms. The MRP of this smartwatch is 499. However, it's available to purchase right now on Flipkart for just rupees 2499. Now let's open the box and show you the content. So here on the top we get this welcome card and here we have the warranty information and then here we have the smartwatch itself and guys as the name suggests we get the square dial in this smartwatch we will look at the smartwatch in a moment let's see what else we have in the box so here we have the user manual which has the info about the pairing and other features and then finally we have the charging cable the charging cable is magnetic and connects at the back of the smartwatch like this so that's all we have in the box. Now let's look at the smartwatch closely. Noise Color Fit Cube comes with a square dial, which is made up of polycarbonate. This smartwatch is lightweight, but the build quality seems very good. In the front, we have the 1.4 inch TFT LCD display, which has the resolution of 240 by 240 pixels. You get the slight curve in this display, which gives it a nice look and feel. Now looking at these straps, the straps are made up of TPU and the quality feels decent. You can remove these straps easily and replace it with any other 20mm straps of your choice. Now in terms of the overview, we have the crown button on the right side by which you can wake up the screen. At the back we have the sensor and here we have the heart rate sensor and below it you have the charging pins. The battery capacity of this smartwatch is 180mAh by which you can get up to 7 days of battery backup. And also this smartwatch is IP68 waterproof. So overall in terms of the design and build quality, keeping in mind that this smartwatch cost only 2499, I find it pretty good. Now let's turn it on and pair it with our phone. So here it is on and asking us to download the app noise track. So the app is downloaded and to pair the smartwatch, you just need to tap on the add device button on the top and then you will see the noise cube in the list and then just tap on it and your smartwatch is now ready to use. Now let's look at the feature of the smartwatch first. So guys, here we have the watch face and you can change the watch face by long pressing on the screen. This smartwatch supports cloud based watch faces through the app, which I will show you in a moment. Now about the controls, it's touch based and swiping down from the top, you can see the notification history. And when you swipe up from the bottom, you get the access to the quick settings. And here we have the DND, brightness, find phone feature, which plays a loud tone on your phone. And then you have the settings of the smartwatch. Swiping right from the left side gives you the access to the quick cards. And here we have the step count, last night's sleep details, heart rate and the weather. To access the main menu, you need to swipe left from the right side. So first we have the step count. And then we have the sleep. After that we have the heart rate. You get the 24 hours heart rate monitoring in this smartwatch. After that we have the sports menu. And here we have the running, walking, cycling, hiking, climbing, treadmill, indoor cycling and yoga. And when you start an activity, you can see your calories burned and current heart rate. Then in the menu we have the messages which are the notification history. After that we have the weather. And in this smartwatch, you can see the weather forecast as well. Then in the menu, we have the camera by which you can use your smartwatch as a remote shutter. After that, we have the music. And with this, you can control the music on your phone using your smartwatch. Then we have the usual option such as stopwatch, alarm and timer. And after that, we have the find phone option. Then in the menu, we have the app which shows you the barcode to download the companion app. After that, we have the breathe which allows you to do some breathing exercise. And finally, we have the settings. In the settings, we have the watch face menu, brightness, and the usual restart and power off option. So that's all the features we have on this smartwatch. 
And guys, as you might have noticed that we don't get the SPO2 monitoring in this smartwatch, which is little disappointing. Now, let's look at the companion app Noise Track. So here we are on the home page and on the top we have the step count, sleep data and also the full day heart rate monitoring data. You can also access the historical data by tapping any of these cards. Then on the next page we have the settings of the smartwatch and here on the top you can see the remaining battery. In the menu first we have the watch face store and in this you get lot of watch faces option which you can apply on your smartwatch. After that we have the notification menu and here you can select the apps for which you want the notification on your watch. And talking about it, here is how you get the call notification. You can also decline the call through the watch. And talking about the app alert, here is how you get the message notification. And guys, you don't get the preset reply option in this smartwatch. And also, this smartwatch doesn't come with the emoji support. Next we have the alarm and here you can edit or add a new alarm. After that we have the remote shutter option and then we have the other features. In this, you can turn on the sedentary reminder and also turn on the race to wake feature. And about the race to wake feature, it works fine most of the time. So that's all the feature we have in this app and this new app from Noise looks pretty good. So overall the Noise Fit Color Fit Cube comes with good quality and design. The watch is lightweight and feels really comfortable on the hand. The display quality is good and the touch is very responsive. However, we wish this smartwatch had the SPO2 monitoring and also during our testing, we found the step count very inaccurate and this smartwatch kept on increasing the step count when we were moving our hand. But the heart rate and the sleep data seems pretty accurate. We are yet to test the sport modes and its accuracy and for that, stay tuned to our channel for the complete review. So to sum it up, if you're looking for a good looking smartwatch and don't want to spend a lot and if it's your first ever smartwatch, then we think that the Noise Color Fit Cube is a very good option. And as usual, if you like it and want to buy one, then do check the buy link in the description below. So that's it guys, this was the unboxing and review of the Noise Color Fit Cube smartwatch. Let us know if you like it and also if you have any queries or questions about this smartwatch then do let us know in the comment section below. So that's all for now. If you like this video then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Gig for more videos like this. Once again this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.